Well, in general, spinal cord stimulation has been around for a long time. It actually was developed in 1964, but it went through many stages to get to where we're at today. Previously, we uh, would stimulate everything in the low back and legs, and, and so it would work great for some pathologies, for some problems, but it was hard for people that just had knee or foot or hip pain. Now we're able to focus just on the part of the knee or the hip where people are actually having pain and eliminate any other sensations that people feel. So the technology is dorsal root ganglion stimulation. And it's the nerves that actually go down into your legs, your hips, your knees, or uh, your feet. And so you're able to target a specific nerve to make pain go away in those specific areas. Well, not everybody is a candidate for this. You have to have the right type of pain and the right reasons for it. General back pain would not be a good reason to have this type of procedure. However, if you've had back surgery, knee or hip or ankle surgery, and you still have residual pain, you may be a very good candidate for this. Um, it, this is usually something we use as a last resort. It's not something you jump into first. Um, you want to do conservative therapies first, like physical therapy, different uh, types of medications, um, and more just conservative modalities first. But this is a very good option for a lot of people. The most common people that would use this are somebody that's had knee replacement or uh, chronic ankle or hip pain after surgery, and they have chronic nerve pain that just won't go away. They, it has, they have a difficult time sleeping at night. They just have a burning sensation that just, just doesn't respond to medications, really. The most common person is somebody that's had a knee replacement or a hip replacement and still has that burning pain. A certain percentage of people that have knee or hip replacements or foot surgeries will have some residual pain that's just not responsive to things. So when you're able to target the nerve that goes down to that part of the leg, that you're able to actually eliminate the pain without being on medications. So uh, what you do is actually put a temporary lead through the epidural space onto the dorsal root ganglion. And that's the part of the nerve that comes out of the spinal canal and goes down into your leg. So you actually put it in there temporarily and see if you like it. And if you like it after five to seven days and you feel like it takes away your pain, then you, you take it out and you permanent in, permanently implant it uh, several weeks later. You get a small battery and some leads that are in your back. It's minimally invasive, it's a day surgery, and it's people go home the same day. The first person we did it in this area had chronic knee pain due to multiple knee surgeries and some infections that occurred. Um, and the pain was virtually eliminated within two weeks. And you don't even have to feel the stimulation anymore. In previous versions, you had to feel a tingling all the time. Now that's eliminated. You don't even feel the tingling. The pain is just removed. You just leave it on. There are times when maybe you're experiencing more pain where you might need to turn it up. Like It's sort of like turning up the volume on the TV and then you can turn it back down when that's, that's over. Yes, it's been, it's tremendous. The, even looking back five years ago, the technology has just drastically improved, even with spinal cord stimulation. Um, whereas people had to have a very large uh, remote control, a large battery, and have a larger surgery. Now we're able to put these in through needles and implant them permanently and it's a much easier and more effective way to do it. If you can think of it as like an iPhone in 2007 till you know, the iPhone 10 now, it's, it's just jumped leaps and bounds.